Hello and welcome. It's March 4th and it's a great honor to have you with us in Afghan Voice Agency. Addressing an event in Kabul, Second Vice President Sarwar Danish says the Afghan government welcomes any plan for peace but reiterates that the government should be aware of any plan in this respect. Danish says the plan for an interim government will take the country to the past. At least 36 people have been wounded, including three military personnel in the Jabril area of Herat city after shooting broke out between security forces and armed affiliated with a local strong man named Habibullah Koryani on Wednesday, according to Herat health officials. Three police personnel and 11 civilians have been transferred to the hospital, said Muhammad Ibrahim Muhammadi, the head of Herat ambulance. Earlier in the evening, details about the current casualties are not available. Local officials in Harad have said that the firefight broke out after security forces tried to arrest a Koryani. President Ashraf Ghani's national security advisor Hamdullah Muheb has said on Wednesday that the Afghan government is working with various factions and considering a wide range of alternatives to achieve peace in the country. Muheb said that any option for the future political system in Afghanistan needs a guarantee from the Taliban and must be backed up by a guarantee from the International Committee for Peace to result. Muheb made the remarks on the final day of a three-day military demonstration and expo held by Afghan forces at Kabul's Darul Aman Palace. The General Director of Tebian Center for Social and Cultural Activities in a meeting with Ayatollah Husseini Kazvini said today's problems in Afghanistan are due to the low level of people's knowledge of transcendent culture of Ahlul Bayt. Hosseini Mazari pointed out the most important work of West during the last 19 years in Afghanistan has been to fight against Islamic and indigenous ideas, beliefs, culture and tradition of the society. And unfortunately, it has dealt a terrible blow to the body of Afghanistan. According to the Hosseini Mazari, Westerners have started their strategy from the foundation of the family and have expanded it to the level of society. In order to promote extremism, it is quite obvious. Hosseini Mazari stated one of the most effective works in order to counter the Western program is religious activities using the programs of the World Various TV, which will definitely be useful in Afghanistan. The European Union has called for transparent and through the investigation of all attacks and assassinations in Afghanistan. Hello. This morning, the EU and member states and other embassies met President Ghani and Vice President Saleh. We were all shocked by the killing earlier this week of three young media workers in Jalalabad. We discussed the protection of human rights defenders and media and we asked for investigations and transparency. We were heard and we agreed to share more information from the government to the people. And we will follow up on the meeting. Thank you. The Chabahar Day will be celebrated on the last day of the Mega India Maritime Summit that was inaugurated by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday. Ministers from six countries, Afghanistan, Iran, Uzbekistan, Russia, Kazakhstan and Armenia will take part in India-hosted Chabahar Day on Thursday. Transport Minister of Afghanistan, Qudratullah Zaki, will be present at the virtual meeting. Moscow is looking at the possibility to supply a free batch of the Sputnik V anti-coronavirus vaccine to Afghanistan to vaccinate members of the Afghan parliament's lower house. Russian President Special Envoy for Afghanistan, Zamir Kabulov, said in an interview with TASS. Currently, we are considering a request from the lower house of Afghanistan's National Council on the supply of a limited Sputnik V batch on a free base to vaccine members of the Afghan parliament. And he added, thanks for tuning in and I'll be back soon.